Hi, welcome back. It's 930. This morning we're starting out a brand new segment with super meteorologist Katie Blake. She's going to try out some fun, easy science experiments that you can follow along with home. And by the way, if this is how you envision Katie Blake, <laughs> I know it's a bit emoji or emoji. It's exactly yes. what you're going to get. She's over there at the Science Lab. It's you. I, did, I love that. I love our graphics department. Henry put that together. I love my little Aww. my little bit emoji. So yes, fresh so out of the Amazon you, package so you gotta today. You got to turn slightly that way and look toward. See, oh, yeah. it is you. See. You just need that blue glove. I need the gloves, yeah, yeah. and the goggles. I, I told, was telling Mark I wasn't pleased with any of the options for goggles that I could find on Amazon, so I will continue to look, and hopefully next week we'll have right. the goggles and the milk. gloves ready to go. Yeah, milk, tie-dye, kind of, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, this is really cool. This is one of those experiments that um, there's kind of like a shock and awe factor that I think the kids will really like. So the things you're going to need, pretty simple here, and a lot of this stuff you probably already have. So you'll need a round cake pan or a plate with high edges so that you can fill it up about halfway with some milk. You'll need either a cotton ball, a few cotton balls, or some Q-tips. I've got Q-tips today. Dish detergent, it doesn't have to be clear. It can be colored. I've got some blue <laughs> detergent today. And you will need different colors of food dye and also some milk. So a lot of these things you probably have around the house because I do stuff like this at home all the time. I happen to have all these things, so it's pretty convenient. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take your cake pan. Uh, this is kind of a little bowl here, and you're going to fill it up about halfway with milk. And you can use any type of milk. I have, what do I have, whole milk here. I actually think whole milk or milk with a higher fat content would actually be better for this. But if you don't have that, you can try skim milk, 2%, whatever you've got at home. Then you're going to take your food coloring. I've got four different types here and you're going to do about, well, let's say five drops or so um, on any side of the pan. So we'll put the green there. We're going to put the red on another side. You space them out? Five. Yes, space okay. them out. Okay. And you'll see why here in just a little bit. You've got the blue drops there and then yellow here. Right. And once you do this once and kind of see how it goes, then you can try a bunch of different colors, put, maybe put a lot more food coloring in there and see what happens. Hey, All right. you so far. Okay. So now it's time for the dish detergent and either your Q-tips or cotton ball. And what you want to do is just immerse, either put a little bit of dish detergent on your cotton ball. I'm just going to dip the Q-tip here in the dish soap and you can kind of Put a good helping on there. And then, all right, so once this goes in the milk, things are going to happen right away. So this is where you're going to get kind of the shock and awe factor here. <laughs> dun, 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 so we're going to put dun, dun, dun. the Q-tip. I'm going to let him zoom in a little bit more. Okay. I really want you all to get pretty close. Okay. All right, ready? Ready. Ready. What, Ooh, what's where happening? Do, where do <laughs> Okay, here, I'm going to put more. Okay, so see, you've got all the, all my food coloring went to the bottom. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. There you go, you're there. Yeah, you're there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're going to see all the different, all the different colors move around. They really don't like this. It looks like the colors are like running away from the detergent, right? Well, it's because of the properties of the milk and the dish soap. So the milk, the fat in the milk and the dish detergent actually kind of bond together. There you go. And that kind of pushes... Yeah, you can oh, kind of see, see there. That's, that's better. On the top now, that's on the surface. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of, it looks like the color is like running away from from the dish detergent there. So go ahead. It actually works better if you put way more food coloring in there. So go ahead and put a lot more in there. You can continue to kind of put it in the milk and then push your little Q-tip there. And you'll see how it kind of like mixes all the colors together to kind of look tie-dye. But yeah, so it's, it's cool. The bond that happens between the fat and the milk and the dish detergent, it actually kind of separates the, the uh, fat and the water and the milk. And that kind of makes all these different things move around. And you've got yourself a nice little tie-dye milk thing here. I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> oh, simply goodness, because no. you've got some of the you've got, so, <laughs> you've got the yeah. dish detergent in there now but this is super fun so you can add a ton more food coloring uh, and see how that kind of makes a different tie-dye spread for you here but yeah this is cool yeah so put it in there and you'll see how things kind of and I'm with you I think, the, I think the whole milk is probably the better one because yes. like you said you need that that difference in, in in liquids you need the higher fat content yeah so give this kind of a test run and then this is really easy because then you can just dump it out clean the dish and then start all over again. Yeah. See and from what different a mom perspective, I guess the Q-tip would might work better than a cotton ball. You get a, stay a little cleaner. You could definitely do that or, you know, take 
several cotton balls or Q-tips and uh, put them in there at the same time and see everything kind of dance around and move. All right, so if Katie, yeah. if, if people caught the tail end of this, is there a place where they can find the recipe and all the ingredients mm -hmm. and yeah. stuff? Yes, you can head to uh, ksat.com, the KSAT Kids section. We're going to have each science experiment that we do every week mm -hmm. online there, and I know we're going to try to give folks a heads up, so if you want to kind of do this along with us next time, next week, uh, you'll be able to do so. We'll give you a heads up on what you need and everything like that. I'm just going to keep messing with it. I'll this. be extra impressed if you go to a white cotton t-shirt in there and then ta -da! there you go that's a thought maybe that's we'll next. do that next week yeah. <laughs> we look forward to that Katie, awesome thank you. you this was fun yep thanks for